Hello everyone, I'm Vinicius Ferrero. I understand how important it is to have the ability to move our balances, our cryptocurrencies, across different blockchain networks. After all, with so many games, DeFi applications, and even airdrops being developed on various networks, something is needed to move our money. With that in mind, in today's video, I want to show you step by step how you can use the Swapbox tool. This is a cross-chain tool from Nabox, which integrates solutions like Bridge and even Swap, making it much easier to move balances between blockchain networks. Although it's a Nabox wallet solution, it works perfectly with MetaMask. Additionally, it's compatible with more than 40 different blockchain networks. But enough talk, let's dive into the practical part. To access this tool, simply go to nabox.io, click on the Ecosystem tab, and then Swapbox. You can also access it directly through the website, which is swapbox.nabox.io. I'll leave the link below in the description. To use this tool, I usually use the Nabox wallet itself because it's compatible with all the blockchain networks available here. However, for the first example in this video, I'll use the MetaMask wallet. For that, I opened another browser. The first function I want to show you is the bridge function, where you can send a specific token from one network to another. I'll use Ethereum as an example. First, I'll click on Connect Wallet, and with EVM selected, I'll click on MetaMask. After that, I'll click on Confirm Connect, and in the pop-up displayed, click Sign. I'm using Ethereum as an example because there's good liquidity within this ecosystem, and it's very useful to migrate Ethereum between different wallets. For example, I've already minted an NFT on the base platform by sending funds there, but later I needed to mint another NFT on the Arbitrum network, sending funds to that network as well. I'll give you a practical example of the utility of this function. For example here in the Carve Airdrop, to be able to claim points on the Ronin, UpBNB, ZK Sync Era, and Linea networks, I need to have a balance on each network to pay the fees. In my case, I can already claim points on all these networks except ZK Sync Era. On this network, I don't have any balance in my MetaMask yet. I'll change the network so you can see my balance. As you can see, my Ethereum balance is zero. So if I try to click below to claim the points, a transaction will be requested on the network where I have no balance. In this case, I'll use Swapbox to solve my problem. Since I already have some balance on the base network, I just need to switch to the base network on my MetaMask. This might happen automatically. Now I'll select the bridge option in this tab. Here it already shows the network where you have a balance and the currency. In my case, it's the base network and the cryptocurrency Ethereum that will be used for transfer. Below, I choose which network I want to receive it on. So, I'll choose ZK Sync. I want to send Ethereum from the base network to the ZK Sync network. I'll send 0.002 Ethereum. Done. I think this will be enough to pay the network fees and claim the points from that airdrop. As you can see, a fee of approximately 0.0001 was charged, around 30 cents of a dollar. It's a very low amount. Now I'll click on Next. A transaction summary appears here. After verifying that everything is correct, just confirm the transaction. I'll confirm it in my MetaMask. The network fee estimate appears here. I'm sending a little over $6. Done. The first part of the transaction has already been completed. Now I just need to wait. Before I forget, always check if the receiving address marked below matches the same address of your MetaMask wallet or your Nabox wallet where you'll receive the coins. Guys, besides the platform fee I showed you, there's also the network fee. However, when making transactions between cheaper networks like Linea, ZK Sync, Base, and others, you won't spend much. But if you want to make transactions involving the Ethereum network, know that it can get much more expensive. Done. After about 2 minutes the transaction was completed. Accessing my MetaMask and switching from the Base network to ZK Sync, my balance is already here. 0.0019 arrived. Now with this balance in ZK Sync era, I can finally pay the network fee and claim my points in the Carve airdrop. Done. I've already confirmed the transaction and earned the points. Transactions involving Ethereum and USDT, you can usually complete without major difficulties. This is because they are two currencies with a lot of liquidity within this platform. However, it's always good to be mindful of the network fees and how much you'll receive in that pop-up that appears. If you have any doubts, always make a small transaction first and see the results. If everything is fine, then you can proceed with larger amounts. Now I want to show you the second tool. The one I just showed now was the bridge tool, which basically serves to send a token from one network to another. That is, to send the same token. But here in the swap option, it gets a bit more interesting. For example, I'll swap the BSC network for nulls OK? This time I'm using my Nabox wallet. And what am I going to do? 
Well, first, I want to swap nulls on the nulls network, so I selected the nulls network and the nulls currency. I want to swap it for the USDT currency on the BSC network. In short, on the nulls network, I want to send nulls, and I want to receive USDT on the BSC network, which is a dollar pegged stablecoin. Swapbox has already recognized that I have 716 nulls, so I'll input that I want to send 710. In other words, I'll be selling 710 nulls on the nulls network and receiving USDT directly on the BSC network in return. I'll click on next and then check the information. If you're making transactions with other currencies, always check if everything is correct with the price quotation and if there's a significant price difference before confirming this type of transaction. I'll click confirm here and after this pop-up appears in my Nabox wallet, I'll click on the sign button to confirm this transaction. So, my 710 nulls have been removed from the nulls network. Now I'll switch here to the BSC network and wait for my USDT balance to arrive. This transaction is a bit more complex, so always keep an eye on the fees which can be slightly higher. After all, you're making two transactions in one. Also, keep an eye on the token price quotation that appears in that transaction pop-up, precisely to check if everything is correct with the liquidity. Basically, this tool combines two solutions. First, the bridge for the currency is done where it is sent from one network to another, and then there is a swap of this currency for another according to what you selected. Once again, when involving Ethereum, USDT and even nulls, there's much more liquidity to make these swaps, so the price impact is usually minimal or nearly none. Well, after explaining this, my balance is already located in my Nabox wallet. So, the swap was successful. This time I used Nabox wallet, but it will also work with the MetaMask wallet. If you want to take a look at which coins have more liquidity, you can click on liquidity above and check the list of coins. I hope that in the future the team will also provide a dollar estimate for all the coins. After all, most of them you'll have to calculate. But we noticed that Ethereum and USDT have good liquidity, USDC too, there's also liquidity in BCH which is Bitcoin Cash, and even Bitcoin B, which is Bitcoin on some other networks, with a bridge to the Bitcoin network itself. Well guys, that was basically the tutorial. This is a tool that has been working very well, especially for small swaps with Ethereum that help you participate in various different networks. I always use this tool with the Nulls ecosystem. After all, it's part of this ecosystem. Also, if you have any questions about Nabox Wallet or this function, leave them in the comments below. Whenever possible I'll reply to you. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has helped you. If it did, don't forget to leave a like below, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss the next tutorials I'll bring to you. Now I'll be wrapping up here. Thank you so much for your audience, and I hope to see you in the next video. So until then, bye bye. <music>